Hey crafters, it's Jana with Crafting It Up In Creations. So I had a, um, quite a few requests to do just a tutorial on these bottle cap shakers. And so I'm gonna kind of fly through this and just show you all the components and different things to use. And I've added a little something more to this video than I did my last, cause I actually do some dangles and hang some beads from these. So these are some of the finished products of the shakers that I have made. Um, that one has a little like school paper in the background and a pencil and they are super cute um, Some of these you can add a little bit of shaker pieces to them and some you know um, a lot This one has a magnet on the back of it uh, This one has a bale um, so you could hang stuff from it and This is a pack of bales that I got from Amazon and then I also picked up some from Hobby Lobby when they had a clearance sale on some of them uh, Different you can buy these at Joann's and Michael's they typically will put their findings 50% off So you can get them for a decent price this little heart one was from Hobby Lobby and that was one of them that were on clearance these are flexible magnets. Um, I believe they were $7.99 for this pack at Michael's, so definitely use a coupon. Um, that's the advantage of doing that over Walmart, um, but you can get them there. And then these little paper clips, I got these from Dollar Tree a long time ago, and they have little resin pieces, um, stickers on top of them, and I just removed that resin piece. This is a zinger, or that's what we call them here. Um, it's a badge rail, and you can see it pulls out. Um, it's very um, nice for when I'm at work, and I have to actually scan to get in our bedroom, our supply closet. I'm gonna show you how I do one of those. So these are the different types of bottle caps. You can get colored ones, you can get flattened ones, um, but I get the craft ones that don't have the liners. And then I use that E6000 to attach those to the badge reels. That's one of the better glues that I have found that really hold up. And these are little punches, or it's a punch that will go right through that metal. And you kind of have to work it out of there, but it puts that perfect little hole in there. So you can, you can use an eye pin or a head pin and hang things from it that way as well. So these are flat nose pliers. I have several pairs of these and I really like the little small tipped ones the best, but I do have some that are wider. And then of course a pair of wire cutters because you'll need to cut the wire. Some of that stuff is definitely optional, just depends on what you're gonna do with it. Now they sell these little glass beads at the Dollar Tree, and of course they have coordinating colors in them and you can add these to your shakers. You can add sequins to your shakers, and this is just a very minimal amount of uh, sequins that I have. This little pack of sassy and chic uh, nail pieces from the Dollar Tree um, add to it. I've got blank slate. These are filigree butterflies. They're super cute. And then of course you're gonna need glossy accents. So far, this is the best glue that I have found for this. Um, they also sell it in this bigger bottle and it has a fine tip already on it. Um, it's $7.99 at Michael's, I know, um, but of course, always use a coupon. So you can use any type of papers for these and I'm just gonna show you real quick. Um, this is a picture perfect punch. It is a one inch punch. So any one inch punch you have will work. And there's a Fiskars one as well. I turn it over and look on the back and punch out the piece. That way you can see exactly where you're punching. And you don't even have to do the exact middle of your piece, because as you can see, that just kind of adds to it. Turn it over, punch it out, and you can, the possibilities are endless on using those. So these are some little blanks uh, slate whimsical charms. Um, it was $9.90 pack for this little whimsical mix, but they put them 50% off. They actually are right now 50% off at Hobby Lobby. And super glue. You will need some super glue to hold on your veils. This is a thing of vintage uh, bottle cap sticker packs there from Hobby Lobby. It was $5.99, but they were 50% off when I got them. 
And there are so many pretty images in here. I've already used a ton of these and I showed them in the last video. I'll link that down below because I went over several of the bottle cap charms that I had actually made at the very end of that video. Um, these are some head pins, but these have um, the little ball on the end of them. Now these are real thin. I wanna say these are probably a 22 gauge um, wire. I would recommend using 20 or even an 18 gauge in these just because you want um, a good durability. I don't know how long this would withstand, like if I wanted to use it um, like on a bookmark for charm or anything like that or like a planner charm so of course you wouldn't have to have the wire cutters to cut those um, and this is uh, some glossy accents I'm gonna actually put that in the very bottom and add my little picture to that and then of course you just let that dry and it really does not take very long these are little resin pieces. I've actually ordered these off of eBay several times. These have glitter in them and they're so pretty. And I'm actually putting this one on a flattened bottle cap over a picture. And I'm gonna add this one to a badge just to show you how you can do that. So you don't have to make these shakers. Bottle caps are so much fun. You can do so much with them. Um, then I have some that are just actually clear and some people make these themselves and then these have a hole punched out so you can add like a Swartzky crystal to the center of it too but I I don't I can't make them so I don't even try and these are round glass pieces and blank slate actually is carrying these at Hobby Lobby as well they're $4 for um, eight of them. You can get them for $2 because they, like I say, right now everything's 50% off this week. And I, I would say they put those 50% off like every couple weeks. But if you put that over it, you can actually see it. Um, like it enlarges it just a little. So you put the E6000 down onto the badge. And I put a good bit in the middle, but then I also put it up around the area where there's like a lip on there. And you're just gonna stick it down to there. It will wiggle, and if you lay it down, it kinda cocks it up a little bit higher because of that um, little piece that will clamp, the little alligator clip that will clamp onto your clothes, and it will move. I've had this happen to me several times. So what I end up doing is I attach them to one of my craft mats, the thicker ones that are like a cutting mat, and that keeps it um, stable and straight. And I leave it like that for about a day. So I just add little glass beads, little sequins, all kinds of fun stuff inside these shaker pieces. And um, little confetti, some of the heart, uh, they say sequin mix on them, but they're like little heart confettis, um, beads, the little um, blank slate pieces uh, from, the, from that mix. I, the possibilities really are endless. And then I also use some of those really cute jewels that they have um, that look like little diamonds and then they have several different colors by Queen and Company. I've used those, um, the little flowers like in the top right hand corner from the set that's from the Dollar Tree. I've added those to um, that one and you know Sometimes you just have to go by your picture as to how many sequins you add to it, whether you want a lot or a little. Um, but really, it anything that you add to it just gives it that much more um, shake. And that, in my opinion, is definitely what makes it the most fun. Okay, so I've added tons of different things to these and filled them up um, just about as much as I want to. And I'm going to take this um, head pin and put it through the holes that I have punched out with that um, metal punch. 
And I'm gonna just stick these through anywhere that I had the holes in to each of the bottle caps and just leave them just like they are. And I'm gonna add the top layer of the acetate to the shaker. So here are some silver head pins and these are at least a 20 gauge um, head pin, if not 18, I'd, I'd definitely say a 20, but they have a flat um, top to them and you can just put them through there and it won't go through that hole. It's big enough um, where it'll slide through there, but it does catch on that piece. And I just put one through all the holes on each of the ones that I punched a hole out in. And then after I apply the acetate circle, I'll show you what I do. So I'm gonna do this one. I kinda left this in like a slow motion. This is a fine tip applicator. You can get these off of Amazon and you can get like um, several bottles. Um, so you could put other glues in it as well, like a multi-matte medium. Um, comes in handy to have with that fine tip but it really comes in handy of putting it down into each little section of the bottle cap so I kind of go um, right along through here and it actually goes a lot faster than you would think um, because I made so many of these but I go right along the very edge and I kind of just stop for just that extra millisecond or whatever it is um, in each little divot because I want that glue to actually especially be in that part of the bottle cap so that it will have a seal. Now I didn't use any micro beads or anything because I do find that every now and again that glue still dries and a little micro bead could get out of that very easily. So I didn't use those but you could definitely still use those. I would just make sure you have a good seal you know and then even after you put your acetate on it go back around and look at the edges and if there's any open area just put more glossy accents to that section um, you can even flip the bottle cap over and put a little bit on the back now you want to kind of pat it down but you want to use the same part of the pad of your hand each time you pat it down because if you get a little bit of glue that seeps out it'll get on the top of your acetate if it happens, if you have an alcohol wipe, you can use that on it too. Now this is a My Favorite Things Blueprints 23. It's a die set from My Favorite Things. And I went through my big stash of die sets and this is the one that perfectly made the circle that fits on top of these bottle caps with no overhang. And I'm guessing that it's a one and quarter, one and one fourth size circle. And so I've taken these pieces of acetate. I bought these from Amazon a long time ago. Um, so I'm not even sure the size of this, but I just cut out multiples. And I even stacked them in a set of three the last time I cut them. But you can also get this right on transparency film acetate from Staples. It's an eight and a half by 11 if you cut it in half. Um, if you have like the Sizzix um, cutting machine or the Big Shot, it'll fit in there. So this is a shaker and I have added the head pins to it. As you can see, they go up and down. And I cut about, I kind of eyeball it, honestly. I'm pretty good at eyeballing about a half of an inch now. I guess I've just been doing this long enough that it just kind of comes second nature. And I used my uh, wire cutters to cut that. And now I'm gonna use these round nose pliers that have this tip on the end that makes it where you can make a loop at the top of your, or at the, near the bottom of your head pin. So I'm gonna try to keep this in focus as much as it will, but you basically just grab it and then just roll it around. And I used to read the directions on this before YouTube came along, but you make a P basically is what it would say and then you kind of pull back at the very bottom part of that to straighten it up so it looks more like like a P and it looks just like a perfect little head pin that you would buy 
Um, it does take a little practice, so if you haven't done it before, I would recommend just having some um, basic wire and practice making um, the little peas. But once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. And I can tell you that I've messed up quite a few, you know, even um, having done them in a while. But you can go forwards or backwards, whichever is easier. It's not really going to matter. Um, but I bring that down and make the pea. It's kind of hard to hold on to just because you know it's moving around inside that little hole but and I'm trying to get it to focus so you can kind of see. Um, I try to push it to where it meets the other long stem part of that pin. And then this leaves you the ability to hang things from it and make it into a shaker charm. And I have several of those that I'm going to show you at the end of this video that I made. But you can hang it by that. And it works out pretty good. Now these are just little jump rings. Um, some are soldered but these are open so you twist open the jump ring in order to open it up and that keeps the strength of the jump ring if you pull it apart like side to side and um, it weakens that metal so you always want to go um, just to slide it open and I'll show you that here in a minute and then this is a little lobster claw clasp and this one's in the shape of a heart <laughs> and this one seems to be like a dud I'm not so sure about that one um, but I have several different colors of um, several different sizes this one is actually got a little puppy paw print on it um, but they make all kinds of them and like I say if you have a Hobby Lobby or a Joann's or a Michael's close by They have tons of different ones to choose from but you can even get these from Walmart They have bunches of them that you can choose from some of them are a little more plainer than others, but You know for hanging these on like purse charms or um, If you want to hang them to make them onto bookmarks, um, it just makes it a lot easier so, and then I've got several different colors so that I can kind of mix. I don't have to mix my metals, but you certainly can mix your metals. I don't really think there's a rule on that anymore. I try to keep mine alike, or at least if they vary, I like them to vary a lot. <laughs> but here's a look at all the different ones and different colors that I have. All right, so this is the jump ring, and you're going to need two set of pliers for these. And you're gonna actually, when you open it up, I hope I got this in the, you open it up this way. So you kind of slide it open. So you don't pull it apart. You kind of just pull from each side to open it. And then you slip it in to the other little opening. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one of the lobster claw clasps in there. Kind of when you have it open, you wanna just add whatever you want to that piece, if at all possible. Um, of course, the more you open it, the more it will weaken that metal. But So these are some little dangles um, that I just bought from Michaels. These are Hildy and Joe connectors, and they've come in very handy. They're from Joann's. Um, you can even add those to the inside of the shakers or you can hang them from the bottom and I've done both. These look like little fortune cookies. They're Explore Traditions. Those are from Joann's. Um, these are little charm me pieces. Um, you can get these at Michael's and they even have um, ones like these at uh, Hobby Lobby. And actually I think these came from Hobby Lobby. A lot of times they put these 50% off uh, the Hildy and Joe are from Joann's, and these are quite heavy beads, but they're so pretty. I've got these little silver hearts, and these little small tassels um, were $1.99. They came from Tuesday morning, and they're just kind of fun to add, you know, when you add something to the outside of that. There's really pretty uh, little blue roses, and then there's these small fairy tale. Um, bead treasures. Uh, they came from Hobby Lobby. These are Tim um, Holt's ideology. Uh, they're just little um, sayings on these pieces and they're all super cute. 
There's some more charmy pieces. They have a lot of different sayings like laugh, wish, imagine, create. These are from Hobby Lobby. They've actually put these on clearance recently. And I have another haul I'll show you with those. And then I also have some more of these little charmy ones. I've got the US, a dream catcher, some little beads. Um, but the sky's the limit on some of these as to what you can hang from them. You certainly don't even need a lot of these things, um, especially if you're doing something specific. You know, if you have something in mind, this is just different ones that I have. So I've hang, I put a, a lobster call clasp on the top of this and I've added one of the flowers and a little leaf bead and a little heart, one of the little filigree butterflies and that real pretty um, stamped out heart. And then this little feather piece is from Hobby Lobby. It's a vintage piece and I love it. I don't think I could sell this one because there's a lot of money in that piece <laughs> just alone. So um, like I said, just the colors of that just kind of really lent to itself. So this one was the black one. It's got that real pretty um, gem in the center of it. I've got a lobster claw clasp on this one. I've got uh, some of the roses hanging from it because I just thought that just went really well with the colors and just some real pretty beads hanging on those. And I'm going to kind of just go through and show you these, um, just the different ones that I have done. And I love them. I think I will have a hard time um, getting rid of these or selling them. Um, I would like to gift a few of these out. I am going to do a Craft With Me series where I'm going to show you all the elements that are inside of a um, container where you can make your own shaker charms. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know down below. I'm going to, uh, I'll link it down below as well as soon as I am able to upload that video footage. I'm working on that as well as adding those um, boxes to eBay itself so that way I have to actually upload the pictures and, and put that stuff on eBay. It just takes a lot of time. But here's some of the others. I really love this coffee one and I just love these colors. And I've even included some of these beads in a little bead box as well. So I'm gonna do a little bead box and I'll have um, a bunch of different little beads that you could buy, um, you know, without having to go out and buy all the different things. And it helps me kind of go through some of my stash. I've given, um, I've put some of my most treasured beads in there as well. Um, so it's not just a, a box of ones that I don't want. These are actual really nice beads. Um, of course, I, I would like to say all the beads I have I love, um, but just so you know that it's not just the castaways or anything like that. It's a really nice set of beads. And of course, you know, when you buy them, you buy them in a string and you get tons of them. And for certain things, um, you don't really need um, 20 to 30 of them. You just need a couple. And, you know, some of these ones with the little hanging feathers and the little arrows, they are super cute. But I have used a ton of them just in the last couple weeks on some of these, and I still had a bunch. So I thought it would be nice to add some of those to um, the bead box. And so far, I've only done one of those bead boxes and three sets of the um, shaker um boxes where you can make your own shakers. Uh, the only thing you'll need with that is glue, but it took a long time to get this stuff together. I would guess that I've been working on that those for a little over two weeks now here and there of adding stuff to it and just making sure that I feel like I have enough stuff in it that I feel like it's going to be worth your money you know, if you're interested in buying those. And like I say, I'm just gonna um, go through and show you all the ones that I made as like 
charms. You can use these as purse charms. You can add them to your traveler's notebooks as a little charm um, on the side. And I'll end up showing you that one day. Um, I'm going to start working on, on that hopefully next. Um, I also want to do like a mini embellishments video. But time will tell on those. But this is my very favorite one with the little bicycle. I've got a bale on top. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that. I may make that a purse charm. Um, I just love it. I'd like to put it on um, something for work, but since I added the bale to the top of it, I probably won't. So these are little ones that I've actually added little magnets to on the back. And one is a little wine bottle with the little bubblies in there. And it's super cute. And then this one has some little turtles in it. And I didn't add any background paper to this because I thought that that would make it look like water. And this one I super glued um, to the paper clip. And it's quite cute. This one is on a little small paper clip as well that came from the Dollar Tree. Um, they sold these last year. And of course you can tell it's kind of a messy glue job on the back, but you won't see the back of it when you're looking, when you have it in a planner. And then I've hung multiple things from this one. I think this one would be cute at work too, um, just because I'm a registered nurse and um, that's really what I do is give out medicine every day. Um, even one of the girls in the pharmacy, I've made badges for them before. Um, they're super cute. Um, just with the little pills on them and everything and I had one in rainbow colors it was really cute this is another one that I stuck on a paper clip and I even added some of the um, findings to the outside of it so if you happen to like make a little mistake with your glue you could even do that so I got a few requests that they wanted just an actual straight up tutorial. I know that my last video was pretty much, um, I guess, more for a seasoned crafter to give people just different ideas. Um, and I don't think any of this is hard to say the least, but some people really just enjoy the actual tutorial. So I tried to go back and do that. Um, if you like these type of videos, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a blessed day and I hope you get time to craft it up. Thanks. Bye.